In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create a delivery note in QuickBooks Online in just five minutes. It's a straightforward process, and by the end of this tutorial, you'll have a firm grasp on how to efficiently generate delivery notes for your business. Let's get started. First things first, you need to navigate to QuickBooks Online, open your preferred web browser, and head to the QuickBooks Online homepage. When you reach the landing page, you'll notice a sign-in button located at the top right corner of the screen. Go ahead and click it. This will take you to the QuickBooks sign-in page. Next, type in your email and password to log into your QuickBooks account. Be sure to enter the credentials you use for your business account to have access to all your essential information. Once you've entered your details, press the sign-in button to continue. This will take you to the QuickBooks online dashboard, where you'll have an overview of your company's finances and tools. From the dashboard, the next step is to locate the New button. This button is typically found in the navigation menu on the left-hand side of the screen. Once you've found it, click on it. This action reveals a drop-down menu with several options to create various financial documents like invoices, estimates, sales receipts, and more. For your delivery note, you need to select Invoice from the drop-down menu. Clicking on Invoice will open a new window where you can start inputting the relevant information for the delivery note. It's important to note that although QuickBooks Online doesn't have a specific template called Delivery Note, creating an invoice serves the purpose effectively by including all necessary details. Once you're in the Invoice Creation window, the first thing you should do is add a customer. You'll see an option to select a customer at the top left-hand corner of the invoice window. Choose an existing customer from your list, or if this delivery is for a new customer, you can easily add them by clicking on Add New. Enter the customer's name, email address, and any other relevant details, and save the new customer information. With your customer selected, it's time to proceed to the next crucial part, which is adding the product or service that you have delivered. Under the product or service column, click to reveal a list of products or services you offer. If what you need isn't in your QuickBooks inventory, you'll have to add it by selecting Add New, then providing a detailed description, sales price and any other pertinent information. Make sure you include the quantity and unit rate, as these will automatically calculate the amount due. After you've added the products or services, check to see if you need to apply any tax. There is a tax column on the invoice that you should fill out accordingly based on your location and the applicable tax laws. QuickBooks allows you to manage and edit tax rates, so make sure everything is in line with your standard practice. The last specific section of the invoice before concluding is the message on statement. This part is useful for adding any custom note or instruction relevant to the delivery. Perhaps you want to include specific terms, a thank you message, or any important detail the recipient needs to know. Filling in this section can enhance communication and avoid potential misunderstandings. With all the information entered, review the invoice to ensure accuracy. Confirm that all customer details, product descriptions, quantities, taxes, and messages are correct. Any error at this stage can lead to a costly mistake, so taking an extra minute to check can save you time in the long run. Once you're confident with the invoice content, click on Save and Send. This option is located at the bottom of the page and, as its name suggests, it saves the record to your QuickBooks files while simultaneously sending a copy to the customer via email. The customer will receive the invoice, which doubles as your delivery note, and can proceed with payment accordingly. And that's all it takes to create a delivery note in QuickBooks Online. This process allows you to keep things organized while facilitating prompt payment from your customers. Remember, QuickBooks' robust framework not only simplifies invoicing, but also ensures your accounting remains accurate, up-to-date, and ready for review anytime. Thank you for following along with this tutorial, and I hope you find it easy and effective to implement in your business operations. Keep practicing, and soon creating delivery notes will become a seamless part of your workflow.